Well, John, the parents I talked to say they don't believe the district. In fact, some of them created a separate Facebook group to talk about what happened Saturday night. I mean, I was terrified. It's my kids, my baby. Saturday night didn't go as planned for Rosalie and her daughter. She's 14. She shouldn't have to go to a dance and worry about something like this happening. Rosalie says when she picked up her daughter from Belton High School's homecoming dance, something was wrong. She got in the car and said, Mom, someone spiked my Skittles. And I said, what do you mean? And she says, I don't know, but my head hurts really bad. I feel really heavy, dizzy and sick, like I'm going to throw up. So Rosalie took her high school student to Belton Regional to get tested and says she saw other students there too. Doctors told Rosalie her daughter tested negative. One girl was um, vomiting and could not stand up. Another student was already back into a room um, because he couldn't move. Turns out other students claimed they were drugged at the school dance. When Fox 4 asked the district about this, it said, quote, as we investigate the rumors surrounding the homecoming dance, we are finding the claims to be unsubstantiated. The district also sent an email out to parents saying it discovered a student was intoxicated when the homecoming dance began. That student's parents were called and told the district to call the ambulance. I feel like the school district at this point doesn't care. And we also reached out to the Belton Police Department. I was told the department didn't receive any information about drugs at the high school dance. John.